Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. This is DSP News, the Unreliable Ones. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Snow Purnell, DSP Gaming. Paid promotions. No invalid ad clicks, and YouTube says they were paid bots. This, ladies and gentlemen, is post-curse. We've all gone through the post-Machinima saga, so this is post-curse. And we're going to see him go through... Uh, you're going to see him be humbled at this particular point, which is something that we've all said. We've all said once he has his back against the wall and he has no other choice but to do what he has to do, he's going to conform and do what he doesn't want to do. <clears throat> and that comes because, and that comes from doing from he was able to do what he wanted for so long that he forgot how the system worked, and now he's being brought to his knees, and he's going to have to humiliate himself. He's going to have to humble himself, and he's going to give you all the excuses in the world on why he has to now do it to save his business and to pay his bills and all that bullshit. But maybe, just maybe, he should have kept his mouth shut about it from the beginning. In any case. We're going to get into this. We'll see what's going to come out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is DSP News. Always late, never breaking. Unreliable coverage that you can't count on. A GTG Network and Productions. You guys all know the slogan. Right, Patrick? It's time to watch me work. Wah, wah. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Most people are saying that these days the weekend preview is pointless. Even though it is a long-standing staple of stuff that I used to do on YouTube, um, at this point... Since I do daily pre-streams, and since I post up my schedule nightly to Twitter, it seems like, essentially, the, the use of the weekend preview has pretty much been lost. So more than likely, what I'm going to start doing is maybe once a week, I'm going to start doing thank you to my patrons here live on the stream. Well, anyway, I think it's actually going to benefit people more. I think people care more about the live streams than they do the weekend preview. Now, let me step in for a minute. <clears throat> Let's think about all the things that we've lost. We lost hateful reviews or hateful truth. Um, <coughs> we've lost hateful truth. We've lost the. We're now losing. We can preview. We lost DSP tries it. So what's left? King of hate. The week. Uh, the pre streams. King of hate. And is that it? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Week. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Pre streams, and acts. Or sorry. Uh, we can pre we can uh, the pre streams and axe king, and that's pretty much it. Hate live, I guess. I think he still does hate live. So and so that's it. I guess we'll just have to wait and see which one of those three gets axed next. But um, it looks like uh, we can preview just gets you know thrown off in the uh, in the gutter with everything else that doesn't make him money. It was bound to happen. Bound to happen. So, so maybe to know that you're gonna get a shout out, thank you. Uh, once a week on the on the streaming, right? Would actually motivate people more to pledge. You know what I mean? Let the green roll in. Give me your money. In a nutshell, guys. I'm not with Curse Network anymore. I'm not partnered with them. The plan was that DSP Gaming was going to have its own ads running on it. Uh, just like I've had on my vlogging channel for the last year and a half. Okay? Um, that was the plan moving forward. Sadly, when DSP Gaming was released from Curse Network, it said the channel was flagged for invalid click activity. Which makes no sense. I just want to say thanks a lot to everyone. Um, I hope to entertain you in the future. Please go to my partner channel, The King of Hate HD, and click on the ads that show up on the videos there. Because I didn't have any invalid click activity. I was with a network. Ah, brisk iced tea. So delicious. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. That must have been very unprofessional of me. First things first. Let's play, devil, let's play devil's advocate for a minute when it comes to this uh, invalid click activity. Let's say... Let's say that's not the case. None of us can ever take his word, so none of us would ever be able to believe him on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just imagine that your reputation is so bad that no one can take your word on anything. So even when you're telling the truth, or you're telling a partial truth, because you know Phil never really tells the whole truth, no one will ever believe him on it. And he's just stuck. Just absolutely stuck. And that sucks. If you think about it. And let's be honest. YouTube isn't just going to, you know, demonetize a channel for no particular reason. You know what I'm saying? So either A, he has had some warnings before that he never spoke to us about. Or B, he's hit with the charges that he hit. Nighty night! So, 
I'll let you guys be the judge. You guys let me know what you think. But he took a hit for something, obviously. He took a hit for something. So what's he going to do now? It's going to be an interesting watch, that's for sure. DSP News. You know what I mean? And the network never had a problem with anything regarding my channel or the ads. If there were invalid click activity, Curse Network would have been affected by it and would have had to deal with it. So it's basically horse shit. What happened was in the last year, you know, I had this dummy AdSense account linked to DSP Gaming. And for some reason, even though the dummy AdSense account was never being used, uh, YouTube slash, I guess I should say Google, because it really is Google who does this, flagged it for invalid click activity, though, even though it wasn't being used. Which sounds to me like, like bullshit. Because what really happened is I think they realized it was a, I had a second, you know, dummy AdSense account that I wasn't using. So they just froze it. And they used invalid click activity as the reason instead of, oh, it's a duplicate account. Which is what they should have done. I think someone internally just did the wrong thing. Because there's no way. There's absolutely no way that it could have been flagged legitimately for invalid click activity when it wasn't being used. <laughs> it's just, it's just garbage, okay? So, yes, you know, you cannot have two AdSense accounts at once. That's correct. But if, the, if it had been correctly flagged said, oh, this is just a dummy account, then I could have unlinked DSP Gaming from the duplicate dummy account and linked it to the proper one. But instead, someone at AdSense decided to flag it for invalid click activity, which is bullshit. It didn't happen, okay? So, I spent... Isn't he amazing? He's like, nah, man, I, I committed this fraud, so just go ahead and, and, and take care of the fraud that I did, but don't slap me on this over here, because that didn't happen. Just, just hit, hit me for this right here, though. I'm, I'm willing to fess up... To I'm willing to fess up to this, so hit me for this. Don't don't hit me for that. And what I mean by hit, wow. And what I mean by hit me for this, I mean go ahead and just fix the problem for me, so I can continue to make money. Because I need that money to pay my bills. Flat. The greater part of Friday, I'm trying to work with YouTube, figuring out how to fix this. I got an update yesterday from Mitch, the customer service rep we were speaking with live on chat on Friday, and Mitch basically said, okay. We forward this issue to now to the, to the appropriate parties, and they're looking into it, and I'll let you know when I hear back, but I don't know when I'm going to hear back. So the bottom line is, I just kind of, uh, I'm, I'm shrugging, and I said, there's nothing I can do. Uh, you know, it, it looks like someone at YouTube is legitimately trying to help me with this issue, but there's no guarantee if or when I'm going to get monetization rights back to DSP Gaming. So as of right now, DSP Gaming is an archive channel, and I'm making no money on it at all. You know, for almost 50,000 gameplay videos every day bringing in tons of views. And I'm making no money on it. Karma. Wah, I'm not making ad revenue. Wah. Because YouTube, ex excuse me, I should rephrase that. AdSense, Google AdSense, whoever works for Google AdSense, screwed up, made a mistake, flagged the AdSense account for the wrong reason, and now everything's on suspend because of it, okay? The problem is, since the way this stuff works, chances are it may never get fixed. I mean, literally, it may never get fixed. You know what I mean? Um, so I just kind of shrug, and I'm like, well, there's nothing I can really do. I'm going to proceed forward, right? So the bottom line is, guys, right now I'm making pretty much zero dollars on YouTube. Actually, that's another interesting point. What is it that Google's going to do when they find out that he had a previous AdSense account and he was banned? What are they going to say to that? Like, that's a that's a really, really good question. I never really thought about that. That this man had an AdSense years ago. It was banned. A lifetime ban. And then years later, he produces another one. And, or well, he produces a couple of them, I should say. And now his YouTube, one of his, his main YouTube channel has been dis, uh, has been demonetized completely because of, uh, because of it. What I don't, what can Google do to him really, except for just remove the rest of his channels? But what will they do when someone ends up stumbling across that? That's gonna be that's an interesting one. Something to think about, ladies and gentlemen. You know, even though I wasn't making much on YouTube this summer anyway because the ad revenue was so bad on YouTube, the bottom line is this is going to really negatively affect me moving forward in the fall when obviously all the new games are coming out and people typically would watch my content on YouTube um, and I would make a lot of money on YouTube ad revenue. I'm not going to make nothing now, pretty much. Um, so in the interim, what I'm doing is I am uh, going to be doing a few things. Number one, my gameplay videos will be uploaded to KO Gaming. So if you w still watch my videos on YouTube, if you cannot be here on the live streams, I will be uploading my gameplay videos to KO Gaming because that channel is fine, has no issues, and it, you know has ads and everything, no problems. The problem is, of course, getting people to move from DSP Gaming to KO Gaming is going to be like pulling teeth. I mean, just take a look at the Vice City videos from Friday. You know, they've got like not very good views. Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. I'm not surprised. 
You know, I think that people expected that KO Gaming was a dead channel. And now all of a sudden putting videos on there, it's going to be like pulling teeth, getting people to check out that channel. But that's your fault. You're the one that told them for almost for a year now that the channel was dead. It was demonetized. Don't bother going over there. It's a dead channel. It's been blacklisted. You did that. No one else. That's your fault. And then the reason why the Vice City shit didn't do well is because everybody came for the drama. A lot of people in this chat were saying, this is bullshit, not, a, not again, here we go. And they got tired of it and they just went, they just left for the day. It was just too much to deal with. So yet again, you, you did it to yourself. ...for the gameplay. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's number one. New gameplay videos going up on KO Gaming. Number two. I think what I'm going to start doing, and I haven't instituted this yet, is for games where I can do it, instead of doing, you know, chopped up videos with individual titles, I'm just going to start doing stream archive videos. Meaning, for example, right now when I play Silent Hill HD, I think I'm just going to hit record, play the game for two hours, stop recording, take a break, hit record again, record for another two hours, stop recording, and there'll be two videos that I will upload to KO Gaming. And that's it. What? This shocks me. Now, I was actually planning on doing that on Friday... Uh, but I didn't do that with uh, great Vice City videos from Friday for a reason. The reason I didn't is because Vice City has a lot of licensed music in it. Even though I muted the music in the options, it still plays the licensed music in the cutscenes, okay? So because of that, I was afraid the videos were going to get content ID matched. And let's face it, if I only made one video for Friday night for Vice City and it got content ID matched, that means $0 profit for me for that entire video. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. So, I had to chop it up. I had to chop it up into small parts just in case a part got... Look at him justifying this. Now, keep in mind, if you were going to say, hey, GTG, maybe he's right as it pertains to his first five videos of a playthrough and maybe his last five. I might give you that. I might consider giving you that. But the 300 plus in between... <laughs> between... Episode 1 through 5, and then episode 300 and 305, you can't justify that. So you're going to have to kiss my ass on that one. I'm not I'm not going to be able to accept that one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That that, that just don't square up. You're going to have to try that again. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He did it that way because it was easy. And it really wasn't, to be honest with you. And he and you can tell now. Because he says it on stream. He leaves, he leaves little trinkets to you out that he's like, I really like doing it this way now. It's so much more convenient. It takes longer to upload and whatnot. But it doesn't take that much longer to upload. You know, with that business class internet that's coming to question lately too. We'll touch on that on another video. Uh, but uh, yeah, outside of it taking a whole lot longer, a little while, a little longer, I should say, to upload his pre-stream, or to upload videos, it's a lot easier maybe uploading an hour, hour and a half, two hour long stream, uh, long video. He's starting to see the benefits of it now. Granted, probably about eight years too late. But you gotta, gotta learn how to crawl before you walk, yeah? DSP News. Flag, I wouldn't lose all revenue on the entire thing, okay? So that's why Vice City is how it is. But for Silent Hill, I don't think we're gonna have any issues here. I think that for Silent Hill, we're gonna be good. And so, probably today's Silent Hill video will be two videos, you know, the first half of the stream, then the second half of the stream, you know, because I want to record the break, that'd be pretty stupid. So that's how I'm going to approach it, as I upload videos to KO Gaming, with the exception, again, of Vice City, which I'm going to have to chop up, there's nothing I can do about that particular game. Alright? So, yeah, that's the deal. And I hope that you guys will, if you are watching videos on YouTube, you'll continue to check them out on KO Gaming rather than DSP Gaming. Obviously, if we get an update from YouTube, slash AdSense... And they fixed the issue on DSP Gaming. We can go back to how things used to be. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm really not feeling it. Like, I'm not feeling positive about this. And the reason being because it seems to me like YouTube just does whatever they want. And, and AdSense, Google, does whatever they want. So in this case, oh, here's an AdSense account that's not being used. Because the duplicate account, let's just flag it for whatever. Instead of actually doing what we're supposed to do. And they flag it for the wrong thing. I know you're lying. And now I get negatively affected. Now they drag their feet instead of saying, oh, wow, here's a channel that for eight years has made money on YouTube. It can't anymore. Instead of actually, you know, looking into this quickly, let's drag our feet and take as long as we possibly can. But to why try would they care? Why would they take that into consideration? You have channels that just came out a year ago who have a million subs, who have never had a, uh, a copyright strike or um, even a community strike. And then they get hit for one thing and then channel's gone. 
and they never get it back. You hear them on Twitter day in, day out, pleading with customer service there to try to get their, their channels back. You can hear them on Twitter talking about them call, calling the different numbers that they were given, and they just keep getting the runaround. So if they don't give a shit about, excuse me, a, mi- a million sub channel that's bringing in 200,000 views per video and they upload a video every day, the hell are they going to care about an eight-year-old channel or a 10-year-old channel or, channel or whatever the case may be that produces really nothing, to be honest. And that's the thing that he can't accept. He can't accept that that channel once that was making 15 million views a month dropped down to 10 and just kept dwindling over the years. To now it's not worth anything. He says, oh, it still makes between 1.8 and 2 million views when it's really, it's like 1.3 to like 1.5. So there you go with that, man. And uh, yeah, it's bullshit. It's bureaucracy. It's nonsense. It's a, it's a broken system. In essence, what should really happen is someone at YouTube should say, okay, this is stupid. Just unlink the channel from the broken AdSense, link it to his working AdSense that he has and uses right now, and we're all set. But they have no capability to do that because they have no actual work processes that account for extenuating circumstances. Instead, they have broken work processes that just run into bottlenecks, which is terrible. And I can tell you from someone who is professionally trained on continuous improvement and achieving competitive excellence. I was trained as a competitive excellence, achieving competitive excellence, or ace, a uh, continuous improvement person. I'm good at lying. That doesn't sound, I'm sorry, that 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 sounds like qualifications for an award. That's what it sounds like. That's not a position. That wasn't something you were trained for. I'm sorry. It sounds like your typical improvement award. It sounds like your typical employee of the month bullshit. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like the typical shit that they give you in an office setting. Okay, that's what it sounds like to me. I'm sorry. I don't know how he ended up flipping it into whatever, but that's what it sounds like. Now, don't get me wrong. If you look back at his old, um, his old condo, condo, sorry, condo, <laughs> condo. That's funny. Uh, should have said fondue, actually. Anyway, um, if you look at his old condo videos, um, he actually has, like, a certification here for, like, when they spent all, he said this alleged, they spent thousands of dollars to train him on something. And even then, outside of that company, he probably could have used it for something, but he's an idiot, so of course he didn't do it. And then he talks about he was trained as such and such, and here it is. It looks like an award to me. Just my opinion, of course. I haven't had a really good look at it yet. Like, I haven't seen a blown up picture of it just yet. But it looks like it looks like it's just an award. But he still holds on to that. Like, what do you do? If that's the case, then, Phil, then what do you do? Explain to me what the position is exactly. Give me some clarification on it, which you haven't done. You've read off a job. You've read off what I think is, like I said, just qualifications for an award. That's what they rewarded you for, I should say. But if it's an actual position, then tell me what it does. Just saying. <laughs> that any process that doesn't have some kind of an extenuating circumstance uh, handling system is a broken process. You know, everything should fall in line and have a way to be solved. You're never going to be 100%, but that you, you should always, again, you should always strive to achieve competitive excellence. YouTube doesn't care. YouTube doesn't have that because YouTube has no comp- competition. So when you have no competition, you don't need competitive excellence, and they can have broken processes like this where, you know, my eight-plus-year running YouTube channel now can't make any money because they fucked up. I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. I didn't do anything wrong. What did I do wrong? Nothing. Zero. So that's life, I now guess. listen to this for a minute. This is a 36-year-old man who plays video games for a living. And all, he spends more time complaining than actually playing the game. Think about that for a minute. He spends more time complaining than playing the game. And it's like he treats life like it's a game. And whenever he messes up in a video game, nothing I could do, man. Buggy controls. When he screws up in real life, nothing I could do. Buggy life mechanics. How do you continue to function as an individual like this? 
I'm telling he's I'm telling you he's a 15 year old trapped in a in a 40 year old man's body, basically. That's what he is, and that's why he does the stupid shit that he does day in day out. Absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. And I I hate to say guys, this is pretty much it at this point. Um, you know what I mean? Like this is at this point the push for me to try to make a living on on Twitch, even though, I'm, again, I'm not abandoning YouTube, and I realize there are people who want to watch my videos on YouTube, and that's why I'm going to keep uploading to KO Gaming. Um, at this point, there, I don't really see much else that I can do but just work my ass off here on Twitch, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work my ass off here on Twitch, and, and in reality, guys, what I need from you is... Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money, money, money that I got to spend, spend, spend. Quick buck, quick buck, quick buck. To watch the streams on Twitch and be as supportive as you possibly can. And if you're not watching the streams on Twitch, okay, if you're just watching the on-demand videos on YouTube, I mean, real talk, I need you to support me however you can. Because just watching the videos on YouTube doesn't cut it anymore because YouTube has screwed me over here, okay? What does that mean? It means pledging to my Patreon, buying stuff from Teespring, right? All these ways, if you're not a stream viewer, which I know many people who watch these pre-streams are not, uh, you, what you need to do is support in other ways, okay? Fuck you, you fucking greedy piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. So please do. This is do or die time at this point. You know, I know I've been here for 10 years as a content creator, and I do appreciate the 10 years of support you guys have given me, but at this point, YouTube is basically putting me between a rock and a hard place and saying, this is it, you know, you can't even monetize your eight years What's of work. What's he gonna do when his fan base wakes up and realizes, when the cult wakes up and realizes, your 10 years doesn't mean anything? It doesn't. That's like saying, for example, that's like saying, I had a job for 10 years and I didn't like it, but I kept working it, so I should be praised for it. No, you you did it because you had to. If you didn't like it, you should have went and got something else. It is, the, I, I recommend that to anybody right now. I'm not saying to pick up and quit your current job. Don't do that. What I'm saying is, is actively look for another job. Once you're in, once you're established, once you're comfortable, then you can let the other job go. But don't be one of these people who just quit their job and just be stuck until they find another one. That sucks. And that's dumb. But no one told you, no, like I said a couple of videos ago, in business, according to Vince McMahon, you got to eat shit and you got to like it. And that's what, that's what Phil did. But now he wants you to pay him for it. Now he wants to be compensated for it. No one told him to sit here and make this his living. No one forced him to do this because his ass was too lazy to go and get another job because, let's be honest, he didn't like the 9 to 5 grind. He wanted it to be easy. And it wasn't. And when he got fired, that was the last straw for him. He knew he was never going to go back. He knew it. And that's why he was so determined to make this YouTube thing work. And at the time, the only thing he could do was spam the system, and which is what he did. <laughs> is what he did and that's what he chose to do but no one he doesn't deserve to be paid for that he doesn't even deserve to be i mean good shit to you kanye but he doesn't even deserve a, a, to, to to have an applause for that he chose that because he had nothing else he chose that because he had no he had other options he was just too lazy to exercise them, as he's too lazy to exercise it's his own fault i can't wait till the day that they actually wake up they should all wake up they should all join Kiwi Farms, and then they should revolt. That should be great. <laughs> that should be godlike. Even though you've done nothing wrong here. A silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. And I'm like, well, great. Well, then I guess it's really going to be... Uh, the point where it's a point of no return. You know, if you want to continue to watch my content, you know, I need your help and support. Pledge to Patreon, check out my Teespring, or if you're on the streams, obviously you guys know about the ways you can contribute on the streams, right? I really need your help. It's the only way I'm going to keep being able to do this, you know? Help! Save the pig! <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat. Ha 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 ha. Hello, Mr. Piggy. You see the Piggy? Save the pig, the game. The whole game, you're trying to save the pig's life. Help! 
10 years of my hard work <clears throat> put on the line because YouTube slash Google are a terrible company and don't do their job properly and don't handle issues properly and don't care. And that's really no, the truth. It's, it was 10 years of me cheating the system, of me breaking rules, <clears throat> excuse me, of me lashing out at people who I didn't like. It was me sitting there playing angles as far as I could. If I couldn't do it, getting other people to do it, and it all came back on me. You got kicked off a curse. Well, you were going to get kicked off a curse regardless. Let's be honest. And he's not telling anybody why he was kicked off curse. But, like, let's be honest. They were going to let him go because he's not profitable. He's not bringing any money in. And why? Because his focus is on Twitch. That's why. Your focus was on Twitch. You thought for some, just like with Machinima, you were going to sit on, you, he thought he was going to sit on Curse on YouTube and just collect a nice little paycheck over there. And while he focuses everything on Twitch, because he can't do two things at once. He can't. You see him, you see him play video games all the time and fail at it miserably. You think if this man can't handle a video game, he can handle life? Now, don't get me wrong. All of, there's a lot of us who are bad at video games. I'm one of them. I'm, well, I'm bad at certain types of games. But Jesus Christ, I can multitask. It's a video game. I'm supposed to be bad. Well, it's a video game. If I'm bad at it, I'm bad at it. It's whatever. <laughs> as long as I'm having a good time, that's all that matters. But life is life. And you're telling me that this man couldn't <clears throat> juggle streaming for six hours a day and then a YouTube channel? Let's be honest. A YouTube channel? You couldn't make that happen? Especially when that YouTube channel is directly funding and fueling in a lot of ways your patreon which you d you definitely need which is something that people have left out of the conversation lately because people kind of forgot about it understandably so not everybody but some people so huh how are you gonna explain that off yet again people have sympathy for this person and I don't understand I don't what he does is not difficult it's not. When you have 10 to 15 year old kids who are on Twitch who go to school, come home, stream for half the time that he does, and make as much as he does or more, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. And you could throw up the argument, oh, well, they only play a certain type of game. That's fine. But they're still playing multiple types. They're still playing multiple games within that genre. Phil sits there and plays all these games terrible at all of them, cheats at most of them, and he's still failing. He's still failing. Yet, Dr. Disrespect and some of these old Gs who are around his age, if they're younger than him, I think, um, are killing it out here. And yet, Phil needs false inflation to go ahead to, to go ahead and justify his channel's growth. There's, uh, there's obviously a large undermining problem over there. And it begins with him. And if no one wants to call him out on it, then suffer the consequences then. Nighty night. Nighty night. It doesn't matter. They just don't care. Because if they did care, it's like, oh crap, an eight year running channel that gets millions of views a month is now not going to be able to make any money because of a simple screw up on, on our end. Let's fix it. Instead. You get the bureaucracy. Oh, fill out this automated form. Fill out this form. Oh, you got an automated response. That's a good point, too. I had said in my last video um, about that. But this right here is an even better point by Snorpin no. Would Would Google... Would Google be entitled to the money that they paid out if it was all under, under you know, like, fraudulent circumstances? Would they be able to collect that type of money? What would happen? What if... What would happen if Phil was sued by Google? For fraud. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me keep that to myself. We done. We, let's not push that any further. <laughs> oh, shit. I should ask James the Lesser what he thinks about that. That's amazing. Back. We'll forward that to me, and we'll see what we can do. It's like, what? How about someone just actually, you know, figures out how to handle an issue and takes care of it, instead of this really rigmarole process going in circles and no one really knows what to do? And that's how it is over there. They really don't have any any human processes for fixing problems. Everything's automated. Everything's, you know, fill out this form, fill out this web sheet, do this automated click process. And that's why nothing gets fixed. See what I mean? Um, and that's the problem. So, it is what it is, guys. You know, please, if you can, be supportive during this time. This is obviously a very trying time. We don't know what's going to happen. I mean, best case scenario, maybe 
Google will actually get their act together and fix this issue sometime this week, and I, I'll, everything will be back to normal. No, 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 no. Okay, well, maybe, no, and... No! Which would be great, but in essence, what the way that I'm seeing this, alright, the way that I'm seeing this is, this is the sign we've all been looking for. That YouTube is done. YouTube is done. It's over with, you know, YouTube, the YouTube party is over. Uh, there's no way that anyone could make any kind of a significant living on YouTube anymore, which we already knew. But now at this point, there's like no reason to even worry about the website. It's time to focus on the future, which is going to be streaming on Twitch. And if, Twi if Amazon ever releases their own on-demand video website, which apparently is still in the works... Uh, going and working on that, you know what I mean? Going to that. So it's time to adapt. Um, and the good news is, at least DSP Gaming, even if I can't monetize it, isn't going anywhere. The channel is still alive, and the channel has no issues, you know what I mean? It's not like the channel is shut down, you can't watch the videos. You can, but... Yeah, but it does have an issue. It still has that community strike from Flapgate. So, it, and it, I mean, unless he was able to talk that away. But last time I checked, he had to bite that. So, at the very least, there's still that that 10 years of work or I should say eight years of work lost and I can't make any money on it even though it's right there and viewable I make no money on my hard work anymore basically here's a whiny baby I'm not a whiny baby I'm a mature adult and I'm not a children's entertainer because Google is a terrible company you know that's really the bottom line Google's a terrible company and I suffer for it even though I've done nothing wrong so the best way to approach this is to support me however you can, Patreon, Teespring, or supporting the streams, okay? The bottom line, guys, is I hope that I can continue to be here and entertain you and be honest with you about games on a daily basis, you know, forever. As long as I want to do it. As long as I'm capable of doing it. I love this. I love begging. I may be, I may be living month to month, paycheck to paycheck, begging for fucking tips and shit on stream for the rest of my life. So, let's talk very quickly about that, and then we'll get into our Silent Hill 2 gameplay here today. Okay? Sound good? So guys, thank you very much for your support. I appreciate that. Ten years of support, and even especially in this trying time, you guys have stepped up and, you know, helped. at least on Friday, you guys were very supportive and positive. I appreciate that. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with the future. I'm very Everything's very uncertain right now, but certainly if we can make these streams the best they can be, um, I think that we're going to have a, a very productive future. I do. I really feel that we're at the point now where streaming can explode and become better uh, and become more pro uh, important and become more popular because people now yeah, will hear it feels really just... Why did you just be honest there and say more profitable? Just, just say it. <laughs> it's obvious that streaming is just a cash grab. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows the routine over there. You got to pay the toll to speak. This, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? You can pay your way out of a out of a ban and whatnot, so on and so forth. We all know what the rules you're a whore. Let's just get it over with. You're a whore. And we all understand that. And we all understand how this plays out. So just make it happen. Just seriously. Okay, the more you fight it, the harder it's gonna be for you. Seriously. <laughs> uh I'm sure a cat would love to hear that. Oh, now and there's nothing he can really do about it that's what he wants to do right so please continue to watch the streams and spread the word by the way um i will say this i'm going to do my best to try to make um i'm going to do my best to try to make uh everything work here i'm going to do my best to make the streams as positive and entertaining as possible and i'm going to be honest with that what that means is cleaning stuff up so, if I'm on stream and I notice people are bullying others and people are doing nasty stuff in the stream chat, I'm just going to take an active role and take care of it. This happened this morning on stream chat before I was even streaming. People were bullying someone and people got timed out and banned. And I had enough. I'm not going to put up with it anymore. I don't even care if you have a sub or not because I know a lot of people get gifted subs and then they come in here acting like dicks because they think that they're protected from the rules because they're a sub. That's not the case. Okay? That's not the case at all. And I'm not going to put up with it. I'm not. I'm not going to put up with... People coming in and sh pretending like they're fans, and then when my back is turned, you know, being really nasty to myself and others. Because this is a place now that I have to make my home. This has to be a positive hangout for everyone involved, and we can't have that kind of stuff. Okay? We can't. We can't have that kind of stuff. 
I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have people bullied anymore. I'm just done with it. All right. But you know, Wait a second. so the Nazi chat, all the bullshit stereotypes, all the fucking dudes running around talking about what they want to do, the other dudes with pineapples and shit. You're gonna clean all that up so you can make it safe. <laughs> so you can make it a nice, safe environment. <laughs> and you don't want no more bullying. <laughs> I don't want no more bullying. <laughs> I don't want any more bullying. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Just a second. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. The biggest bully in the yard, in his yard, which is really small, by the way. <coughs> wants to sit there and say that he wants to quit bullying. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's... That almost brought a tear to my eye. Almost, but... Sorry, Phil. Not today. <laughs> not for your lack of trying. <laughs> it goes both ways. You have to understand, you can't be saying stuff that, that would be considered against the rules of risque either. It goes both ways. So everyone has to be careful. There are rules in place. It's just that sometimes I'm lax on the rules or I don't pay attention. I leave it to the mods and I realize sometimes there's no mod staff in here to take care of anything, right? And when that happens, we get situations like we had this morning where you have people bullying others and, and getting going back and forth arguing with each other. It's just not going to be put up with anymore. It's not. Because if this is going to be the place I have to focus on 100%, it has to be a positive, fun place and I'm going to clean it up. So I already laid down the law, you know, this morning. Wow. And everyone is now aware, okay? I Now everyone is aware of what's going on. So, Oh, oh you know. my God. Sorry about that. So, <laughs> laid out the law. Anyway, okay, so Phil's trying to clean up his hug box. I got you. I got you. Here's the thing, Phil. This is your new home, yeah? Okay. This is a new home. <coughs> Excuse me. Twitch is, Twitch is your home. The, the, uh, the chat is your backyard and the detractors are on your swing and the monkey bars. <laughs> How are you gonna keep, how's this shit gonna be? How are you gonna clean it up? How is a how does a negative, toxic, hateful individual like DSP, Dark Side Phil, Phil Brunel, how does he clean up an environment that he himself fostered uh in and and basically i mean who he created it he created it and he, he he coddled it he's the one who allowed it to flourish into what it is you think he doesn't see the fucking racism and bullshit that doesn't go on his chat go and watch any one of his, his previous streams well the same actually like i said dude this is the 27th he still does the same dumb shit you, he'll take when he takes a quick look at the chat and then he looks away. It's because he saw some shit that shouldn't have been up there, which is why he gets more and more mad at these detractors who now have, um, who have his stream chat up there on the side. So you can see him banning people in real time. And you know what Phil's gonna do when he bans somebody? He immediately looks over, and then he looks over again, and then he looks over a third time and he looks intently, and then he just gives up on the game and goes right to banning the, that person or persons in question. He's more intense doing that than actually playing the game. It's it's pretty much Street Fighter and banning. That's the only thing he gives a shit about. You can throw some PUBG in there occasionally when he's making some good money. That's it. He doesn't give a shit about anything else. But how do you expect how do you expect a toxic individual to sit there and clean up the toxic waste dump that he has behind him? How did where would he even know how to start? Those are his peoples. You're not gonna just run your peoples off because that's where the money's at. And then the thing with the mods, most of those mods those don't give a fuck. If not, they haven't already been banned behind the scenes. And that's why you get all these random dudes who get modded and they show up for a day or two and then they just don't show back up. Eh, whatever. Well, you're aware now if you come in and you act like a jerk and you get banned, I'm not gonna hear it anymore. I'm just not. I banned someone this morning who has been repeatedly banned for acting like a jerk, acted like a jerk again, and got banned again. And I'm done with it. I'm just not, I'm not going to appeal. I'm going to be Mr. Nice Guy, listen to 100 appeals and let people back. Done, what's done is done, you know? Um, enough is enough. You know, we want to be happy here. 
and we want to have a fun stream. We don't want to have a situation where people come in. Oh, wow. So Phil's now going to 100% be streaming because YouTube screwed him. All right, let's check out this stream for the first time. And next thing you say, ah, oh, ban this guy. This guy's a troll. This guy's a dick. This guy's this. This guy's that. Blah, 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 blah. None of that's going to be allowed. All right? None of it. You're going to be in here. You're here to have fun, enjoy a gameplay stream, and, you know, talk with me. You can interact with each other. That's great. I'm not going to have this bullying, this, this schoolyard crap anymore. It's done. As of today, I'm putting down my foot on it. Go, 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 I'm done with it. Because as of today, is pretty much the first day where everything is reliant on Twitch, right? It really is. Today is the first day where Twitch is it. This is the big thing for me. So, I got to be serious about it. And I hope that you guys will understand that and take it seriously, too. In fact, right now, what I'm actually considering starting to doing is these special sponsorship streams that Twitch does. Because right now, there's an ability to do... They're called bounties, basically. Twitch bounties. And Twitch offers... Right, so let's jump in on that for a minute. So in the last broadcast, we find out that our uh, our registered shill, being Dave, is going to go on to the bounty system. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the same bounty system that you talked about a couple weeks ago. How he had complained to Twitch about, hey, why can't you know games that are on console be part of the bounty system and they basically were like shut the fuck up and get up out of my face phil should be used to that when it comes to twitch and um now because you know <laughs> the money off dsp gaming is gone now and at least the ability to make money off dsp gaming is gone now he has to sell himself out now he has to go to the lemon now here's the thing watching tevin stream last night you saw when they were doing the condo thing like i said we're gonna do a video on that because um, it's going to be a pretty good watch. And a lot of the stuff that I've said that he has, you're going to see it. You'll see it now. And you'll see, I've called him a hoarder in the past. You're going to see exactly why in, in a, soon. Um, you're going to see that he had, that after he got the lemon, right? Because, you know, he said that the fan was, the fan didn't work. Something was wrong with one of the hard drives. He said that the RAM wasn't working. Like I said, if he put the RAM, if he goes ahead and reconnects the RAM and check all of his connections, he might be all right. He definitely needs to check all his connections. But you know, what I'm saying, even though, but then snor uh, Super Sloth Pants on the on the uh, podcast brought up a very good point that it's possible with the specs of the actual machine. I didn't get to see the rig um, that it was probably going to run like trash anyway because Phil wants to have everything on max settings. So. Shouts out to SSP. That was a good catch. He went ahead and bought a backup PC from, I think, Best Buy. I think he bought himself an Acer. So this man is sitting on two lemons. He's sitting on at possibly two other backup PCs. The guy has, what, two laptops? Maybe three. Oh, two of them are broken. He just doesn't know how to take care of his shit. And this is the thing that I really want you guys to see in this condo video coming up that we're going to go through. Jesus Christ, it's going to be like an hour. Well, the videos all together will be like an hour and a half, something along those lines. Is you're, I'm, I've talked so many times about how this man viewed and how he spent his money. Now I'm going to be able to show you the proof to back that up. And I mean, for some of you guys who know, it'll just be going down memory lane. For some of you guys who are new to this shit, you're about to find out. You're going to learn today. Well, not today, but you know what I mean. You're going to learn that day that he, if something broke back in those days, he just immediately went out and bought another one. Never thought about trying to fix it. Never thought about going online and seeing, crack that baby open and maybe take an hour out of his day to get something repaired. He just went ahead and bought another one and just put the other one off to the side. Wouldn't throw it away, wouldn't recycle it, wouldn't try to resell it, just, he just leave it off somewhere. The man lived in squalor and he did it for years. Hence the reason why his office is the way it is. You'll wait and see. Anyway, so he's going to be playing on... He's going to go ahead and pick up the bounties. The bounties basically are... It is a particular PC game that is played either every day or it's played a certain day out of the week. Whatever the case may be. I'm not on Twitch. I don't know. At least I don't know the full details. And it's a basically view-based type situation with an incentive, or what seems like, I should say, an incentive on top of that. World of Tanks was supposed to be his first bounty. Well, apparently someone reached out... <laughs> Someone reached out to the developers and were like, uh, you might want to look into the person you're about to sponsor sponsor for this, and the sponsorship's gone. Now, let's be honest. As it pertains to the world of tanks, he could still go out and get the game. Um, I was reading on Twitter that you can pick it up off Steam for free. Actually, I'm going to download it in a minute, or at least after I'm done with this. And so he could still make something happen, but he won't do it now. 
at all. And then at the end of the video, uh, we'll talk about what his plans are to try to keep people from screwing him up later. But yeah, him, him selling out, shilling to this program, which is what it is, that's what he's called it, it's going to come back and hurt him in a bad way. And there's going to be people that are going to make sure he doesn't get no bread off this. It is what it is. DSP News. Certain games, okay, where if you accept the bounty, they'll send you a key for the game on PC, and you play the game on a stream. And depending on how much viewership you get during that stream, um, it'll determine if, how much money you can earn from that bounty. Because basically what you're doing is a paid promotion. Very, very, very hypocritical. King of hypocrisy. Now, for me, as you guys know, when I play games, uh, I'm very honest, right? And really, the criteria for these paid promotions basically says no excessive bashing of the game. So as long as I don't go overboard playing these games, uh, it looks like I may be able to do some of these paid promotions. It's, it's gross. It's for this. It's not because they love what they're doing. It's not because for the love of the game or because they're true gamers. It's for this. And this is what it's become. It's not about putting out a quality review. It's not about putting out a quality playthrough or a quality stream. It's about making this. And they help. However, they're PC-only games, so I have to make sure these are games my PC can run. More than likely what I would do is not record. I would just stream these games and then let the Twitch archive become uh, the, the, uh, become the video that I would then upload to YouTube uh, for that gameplay. So, that being said, I may do some Twitch-sponsored streams coming up. Because it looks like if you can get the viewership you need, you'll make really good money. The question is, can I get the viewership I need? Because it varies greatly. Like, it actually says, um, it actually says that if you, it depends on the viewership. Like, it's between 200 and 700 viewers. And obviously, the more viewers you get, the more exposure you give the game, the more money you can earn. All right, let me pause real quick. He's not going to catch that type of viewership, though. Like, he's not going to get that. He's not going to get 700 viewers on that. That's what he's hoping for. But he's not going to. He's not going to go for that. Especially, like I said, amongst in detractor circles, there are already people talking about, you know, hey, he's banking on, if you think about it, if you really think about it, this right here would kind of work in Phil's benefit because he would be banking on the detractors to show up for it. He would be banking on it. Because at the end of the day, a view is a view. And that's what he needs. Now, excuse me, I would also assume that view botting is definitely going to be monitored in, in full effect. So you have that also. <laughs> Excuse me. You have that also to contend with. And amongst his own fan base, there's not too many people willing to watch that. Because yet again, it's him going back on his own word. You sat there and just went on a Twitter rant, calling people shills, throwing this out, this and that out, talking about not real gamers, this, that, and the third. And now look what you're doing. And he can justify it any way he wants. But he's already shitted on a group of people for this. Even a kid is smart enough to realize, I don't like that. So what's he going to do now? And like I said, he needs the tractors to, to help with this. It's a double-edged sword because someone might reach out, might reach out and tell the developer that, hey, you might want to watch out who, watch out who you're sponsoring. But then at the same time, he needs the detractors because that's going to bring the viewership in. The thing is, that's interesting as it pertains to the WT, uh, WOT, or World of Tanks, is there's no detractor that's taking, uh, taking credit for that. So who was it? I guess we'll have to wait and see. DSP News. Um, I'm nervous, though, because let's say, for example, let's just say I say, okay, guys, for the first time ever, Tuesday night, I'm going to do a two-hour stream of World of Tanks. It's a promoted stream, so it is a sponsorship deal. Please come check it out, you know, and, you know, this will be my first sponsorship event ever. Let's see how it goes. And I jump on the stream, and I play the game, and no one shows up. Well, then, you know, not only does it not, you know, not really help me, obviously, but, uh, you know, then there's no point in doing them. You see what I mean? Uh, and the thing is, it's completely random games. It's not like it's... Sometimes it would be a new release, but most of the time it seems like a game that maybe isn't as popular as it used to be anymore and stuff. Like, I actually saw the Division 1 on there. And it was like, why would they try to promote the Division 1? Of all things, when the Division 2 is... Maybe because they want to build hype for the Division 2. I don't know. Um, but anyway, you know, this would be a pretty random event. You know, people always ask me, will you do random stuff? You know what I mean? Why don't you do just random stuff? Um, well, this could be an opportunity for me to just play random games I've never played before. Because most of these games that are sponsored, sponsored games I've never heard of or I've just never played. Um, but 
I would be reliant on you guys, the viewers, to show up and watch. Because if no one shows up to watch these games, then there's no point in me doing these events. You see what I mean? Um, so let's see what happens. I may try one this week. I'm actually, real talk, seriously considering doing this. Trying one of these this week just for the hell of it to see how it would turn out. Would people actually show up knowing that their, their viewership on Twitch would help me? Would they show up to watch a sponsored stream or not? I don't know. But it's something I've never done. It's something I would consider doing. So I'll let you guys know. I'll look into it. And I'll let you guys know later this week um, if I'm going to do something like that. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. So far, by the way, I should bring this up. So far, so good with KO Gaming. As you guys know, on Friday, I uploaded many videos to KO Gaming. Three vlogs that explained the whole situation. It basically covered the stream I did. The, the IRL stream that we did live on Friday during this whole situation going down. And then, my initial gameplay of uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. All of that was uploaded to KO Gaming, and it went down without a hitch. Nothing was demonetized, nothing was flagged, everything was good. So, the good news is, it looks like KO Gaming, for whatever reason, even though last year it was flagged, it looks like it's fixed now, for some reason. <sighs> what? Don't ask me why, because nothing's changed, right? Not like I changed anything I was doing. But, so far, so good with the videos on that channel. So, yeah, what may happen, KO Gaming may just be archive channel. Where, every time I stream, you get one to two big archive videos of the stream on that channel for those who can't be on the streams. I'm going to give YouTube an honest chance here to try to fix the issue and figure this out. And hopefully this week, we'll get an answer. And if the definitive answer is no, we're not going to fix DSP Gaming, you can never monetize it again because of our mistake. Guess what? Then, yes, I'll, all this artwork you're seeing on pre-stream that says DSP Gaming and everything will have to be changed. And say, watch archives on KO Gaming. Okay? And uh, I'm pretty sure that the person who made most of this artwork for me would be more than willing. He's been very supportive over the past few weeks. I'm pretty sure he'd be more than willing to go in and edit the art to say, oh, go just go to KO Gaming now instead. But we're not going to jump the gun. Because what if we edit everything to say that? And then, oh, okay, YouTube contacts me this week. Oh, guess what? All right, you're right. We flagged the AdSense for the wrong thing. We're now just going to say it's a duplicate account. Now you can unlink it and link your valid AdSense and you're good to go. And now you can get back to work as usual on, on DSP Gaming. Obviously, then I'll be like, wow, that's great, you know. But that would be a huge way to jump the gun and screw everything up, right? If I if I did just say, oh, don't ever go to DSP Gaming ever again right now. So let's see what happens. Let's play it by ear. Jay Kramer just cheered. He says, I have to ask Phil, don't jump down my throat. What is that clip from many years ago uh, where you apparently I asked people to click on ads? I don't remember that. Now, maybe it exists. I've, I've addressed this before in the past. I don't remember ever specifically saying, go click an ad. I remember, if you guys remember, what I used to say was watch, rate, and participate. And by the way, I did that for three months over the course of the end of 2010, and then I stopped saying that altogether. So it was three months where I said watch, rate, and participate. And by the way, I, I should bring this up yet again, okay? I should. But it didn't say watch, rate, and participate. He said, please click the ads because, you know, it's 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 really expensive what I do. I have to buy the cost of games, the cost of equipment. I bought this condo, which is basically my studio. So, you know, any money I can make off there will really help moving forward to see if I can actually do this as a job. Almost his exact words, but not completely. So, nah. Nah. Nil. Um. I did not get any disciplinary action against me at all ever for doing that ever all right ever fuck that phil you are a dirty rock you lost your adsense over it oh my god <laughs> the, the the perpetual vortex of lies and deceit and deception is over nine thousand. It really is. That shit is insane. It's insane to think an individual could just get away with this. Wow. <laughs> just wow. Seriously, just wow. I've got bad news. I told you if there was bad news, I would let you know. Because um, I'm an honest guy. And to be completely honest, I have nothing to hide. So I don't... I'm not worried about talking about this publicly because I've done nothing wrong. Um... I got an email last night that Google has suspended my AdSense account. They're claiming there's been invalid click activity, and uh, I 100% disagree. I know I'm innocent. I have not violated any of their terms and conditions, and I appealed the decision. Um, but what this effectively means is, as of right now, I'm pretty much unemployed again. Um, first of all, to answer one question that everyone's been asking, that question that on everyone's mind because I just want to get out of the way, um, everyone's saying, well, Phil... You know, and we all know that like, this past weekend, you know, your your Google AdSense accounts got shut down. Um, 
and therefore, you know, we're not, you know, we're not looking to do anything anymore on Google with participation. But why can't you just make another partner account? And the answer is you can't. I mean, sure, I could make a new channel. I could make all this new stuff. But the bottom line is this. You need a legal name and address. And if the business attacks ID to register uh, an AdSense account, and I've already done it once, and it's in Google's terms and conditions. Once one person does it once, if it gets suspended, you can never do it again. So I'm not going to falsify information and break the law. Or, it's not really breaking the law. We'd be breaking Google's terms and conditions, basically, to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, that's not the kind of person I am. And... Uh, it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right to try to fool their system into thinking I'm someone else so that I can try to make money again. Uh, makes no sense. Now, <clears throat> some people have said to me, I'll, I'll finish the video like this. I said, Phil, if you had a falling out with Machinima, you're not with them anymore, why, and you're not in a managed partnership, why on earth are you with another partnership company? Okay, why? Because it's way different on YouTube. A lot of people now don't even go with partnership companies. They just go with Google AdSense or whatever. Um... Well, I, I can't no, no necessarily 100% answer the question. I think originally I did apply for Google AdSense on DSP Gaming a long, long time ago. We're talking 2010. And I'm almost positive that it was denied because they said it was, at that point, gameplay-related content and therefore it wasn't monetizable. Now, I don't remember if that had something to do. If you remember, then I, I monetized my vlogging channel, The King of Hate HD. And within two months, YouTube shut that channel down and said that they, saw, they found click fraud. And I was like, well, it wasn't me doing the click fraud. It was obviously other people, but I can't stop people from doing it. YouTube didn't care and they shut down that channel. But I'm almost positive that was the same AdSense account that was associated with DSP Gaming. So we, basically what I would have to do is set up a new AdSense account, a new everything, and try to start from scratch and get all that set up. Honestly, it was easier for me to just contact Curse. If you don't know, people seem, people seem to understand. What is invalid click activity? I just want to say thanks a lot to everyone. Um, I hope to entertain you in the future. Please go to my partner channel, The King of Hate HD, and click on the ads that show up on the videos there, because hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, that actually starts giving me some, some money back for what I'm doing. I mean, it's not cheap to do what I'm doing. I bought a lot of games, a lot of equipment, and now I have my own condo, which is basically my studio, to do whatever the hell I want. So, you know, anything that you can give back is much appreciated. I also do... Enough said. Have you PayPal donation on the left-hand side of my Dark Side Phil channel. It explains how to go to PayPal and what uh, you know email address to send a donation to, darksidephil at hotmail.com. Uh, I've gotten many, many donations, and as I said before, if you send me a donation of, you know, 10 15 $20 or more, I'll mention your name in a video because I do appreciate that. So, thanks a lot. Uh, oh, there's my token burp for you to end this uh, little video. What that means is that basically a bot. A bot got involved and clicked on, on an advertisement on YouTube. That's what it means. Invalid click activity. Or you yourself, under your own IP, watched your own videos and clicked your own ads. That's what that means. Invalid click activity does not mean you violated the terms of service by saying something that you're not supposed to say. That's not what it means. That's insanely dishonest. Dishonesty for me is a big thing. It's like the ultimate betrayal. You know what I mean? That guy is such a two-faced fat piece of shit. He pisses me off. Like, I seriously hate people like that, that are so fucking dishonest and two-faced and, and will do anything to make a fucking nickel. He's disgusting. And that's people, for years, ever since that happened, have literally made it, that up and said, Phil got, got, you know, disciplinary action against him on YouTube because he said to do this. No, that's not why it happened. It's because they said that people were going in with bots and mass-clicking the ads. And uh, what, what, How do you prove that? How do you disprove that? You can't prove or disprove that shit. You know, it's, it's impossible to prove or disprove anything like that. And that's why it was horseshit that I just, you know, out of nowhere, here you go, Phil, you're done. Like, wait, but what? There's no evidence. There's no appeals process. There's no anything. I'm just gone. The thing is today, there's, there's appeals processes and everything. Um, you know, there's appeals processes everywhere. But now, back then, I mean, I should say there wasn't, you know, so it's just complete nonsense that people literally fabricate and make up. Okay. They fabricate and make stuff up. To say, this is why something happened, when in reality it isn't. It it's never was anything that I ever said that made me get di any disciplinary action against me. It was apparently someone abusing some system with a bot or something. It's not me, it's the trolls. <laughs> what? That's what I was told by YouTube. Okay, where's the evidence? Present evidence of what you're saying. There's no way you could just lie, 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 and never have a fact behind it and expect this story to hold. Okay? So, stop making stuff up. All right? Don't believe the nonsense, as they say, right? <laughs> you gotta listen to me and not listen to the people who spin what I say. Oh my god. All right, Primmy just cheered. He says, By the way, Hint, hint. Sell the house. 
Oh, all right, here we go. I'm just I'm not even going to pay attention to this. Again, people, why don't you sell your house and do that? Yeah, because that it's overnight, right? Because overnight, I can sell my house and magically make tons of money, find another place, sell all the stuff in the house, renovate the house so that I can sell it. All this stuff is over an overnight practice. Actually, no, it's not. It's an incredibly stupid suggestion. And by the way, the last thing I would ever do is leave this house. If I, ever, if I got into a situation uh, where I couldn't pay the bills, what I would probably end up doing is looking to declare bankruptcy or maybe just not paying for the place in Connecticut, which I know would be a terrible thing. But why would I give up the house where I run the business? There's not even a guarantee if I move from the I told you. I told y'all. I told y'all. He's gonna die. He would rather die in that house than give it up. He would rather die in that house than to give it up. I'm telling you, everything that that is him, that makes up his being, this isn't just an image thing. This is a psychological thing. You know what I mean? Everything that his, his whole self-worth is locked into that house. It's invested into that house. Just like at one time, it, it was invested into that condo in Connecticut. This is how this man lives. He can't give up that house. He'll die in that house. He, he, he would die before he gives it up. You know what I mean? That's why nothing else is an option. He, he has to keep the house by any means necessary. It is what it is. I, to, I told y'all. I told y'all. It's, it's it's just it's it's how his brain is wired you know what i mean a, the average person would just cut their losses you know what i'm saying they would cut his they would just cut their losses yeah he's financially in in the hole with that motherfucker for sure but sell that shit and sell that shit and break even and start over dave can't start over he can't he doesn't have it in him he doesn't have it in him he can't start over you know what i mean he believes that he's already like halfway into in the race so like he, he's he's he the way he looks at it the finish line is right there so why do i need to give up the finish line is right there and so he's not gonna give it up pure and simple this house that i'd be able to get business class internet that would support the work that i need to do to make money you know this this house is the registered address of a business i have all the equipment for my business here it operates out of here the suggestion to move is an idiotic one by people who are immature and don't understand how the real world fucking works. Oh, you're gonna get salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now. Get but how well do you understand how the world works? You're the one with the back taxes. You're the one with all the debt, and you're the one who's begging children on a video game st stream for money. Indeed, very unacceptable. So, how much of the world do you understand? How much grasp of your failure have you taken in? I can blame them for drinking way too much of the Kool-Aid, but you mixed it. So who's really the fool in all this? The person who uses general common sense and has a question about a situation? Or the idiot who will continue to fail until he just loses the house from up under him? And he still can. He can still have that house taken up from under him before he ever gets to make a move on the, um, on the equity. Don't think he can. It's Dave. If there's a way to fuck it up, he will. It's in his nature. My mouth overpowered with salt flavor. They think that at a glance you can just sell your house within a day, make tons of money, and then immediately just keep working and making money. Right, that's, that's not how life works, but you know. Keep making stupid suggestions. <laughs> burn in hell, Burnell. And now I'm gonna burn in hell for the rest of eternity because of it. You can't change who you are, I guess. Hell is a place where it's very hot. There's, you know, it's torturous conditions. Fire, hail, brimstone. Uh, you know, your, your body is being ripped apart by demons who are shoving red hot pokers up your rectum. Not a nice place. Okay. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. And there we go. Uh, I think it pretty much sums it up. It's it's kind of surreal, if I have to be honest with you, to kind of see to see what happens to him. It's it's just surreal. It's kind of it's just kind of surreal, to be honest with you. Like it, it's like I've had conversations with people like about this on Twitter and shit, and they're like, you know. 
how's it feel to call it? I don't feel anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, most of the time when he does something stupid, you laugh at it and you just move on with it. But, like, to see a man drown when, you know, only a few weeks ago, he was on the he was on the boat and we were telling his dumb ass to put a life preserver on and he wouldn't do it. And now to see him in the water drowning and we're telling him to go ahead to just swim to the, the lifesaver and he won't do it because... He says he's okay, and now you just see him go under. It's kind. Of, it's just surreal. It's it's very very surreal, and so, like I can and see that's why, branching off, into other people makes sense because, he's a, he's a sinking ship. He's not out of the fight yet. Don't get me wrong, by far Dave is not out the fight yet, but at the same time it's just, it's a bit surreal. It's just a it's. It's, it's, it's a bit, it's something. <laughs> I don't really have the words to describe it at the moment, but it's it's something, to say the very least, to watch him fall apart f- from his own mistakes, mistakes that he could have avoided. It, it's, it, it kind of takes the fun out of it, to be honest with you. Because like when you, pre- when you predict, like when you, you, you have all the information and you predict what's going to happen to him, and then when it happens, it's kind of like, it takes the surprise away, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's like the thrill of the hunt essentially isn't there because you already know where the pig's gonna be. You already know where the pig's gonna go. It's just, it's just. I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't had my cappuccino yet, so maybe that's why I feel. <laughs> maybe that's why I feel this way, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. This is DSP News. Always late, never breaking. Unreliable coverage that you that you can't count on. A GTG Network in Productions. I'm your host slash anchor GTG, and I'm signing off. End of broadcast. Shouts out to Tyrone on Twitter. I was actually watching some of your video while I'm actually recording my own video. So shouts out to you, my dude, for sure. I'm looking forward to seeing how that video works, and I'll put that in a link in my description to the next video I record whenever your video comes out, my dude. So definitely. All right, guys. I'll I'll see y'all later. (laughs) Amazing.